Hi everyone, I'm James, and this video is about the biggest project I've ever taken on. I came out as trans in 2018. I stopped wearing skirts and dresses around that time because I wanted to present a more masculine image for myself. In 2020, however, I came out as non-binary, specifically. I started experimenting with more feminine things again. I started sewing just before the pandemic, so when I decided I wanted to start wearing skirts again in 2021, I decided to make my own because I couldn't find any that I liked online. My first skirt was a mess. It's a three panel skirt, very simple, but I left the seams raw because I didn't know how to French seam yet. While it is a mess, I enjoyed making it immensely and I decided that I wanted to make another one because I was disappointed with the amount of swoosh that my first skirt had. For my second skirt, I decided I wanted to make a circle skirt. However, I wanted something really swooshy, like really, really swooshy. So I decided I was going to make a double circle skirt, which is basically two full circle skirts combined into one absolutely enormous, ridiculous skirt. So I did that. It takes about 12 meters of fabric, which is a lot. As I was making this skirt, I watched Encanto for the first time, and I kind of fell in love with the embroidery on Mirabelle's skirt. I decided that I was going to embroider my skirt. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I had never embroidered anything before this. I did just a couple of practice stitches on an apron before I decided to dive right in. I found my pattern online. It was just a repeating pattern of vines and flowers. I should mention now that I do not have an embroidery machine. This entire project was done by hand. I had to print out the pattern several times in order to find the correct size, but once I had that size, I was able to start working. I used crochet thread instead of embroidery thread because it comes in a much larger amount. Embroidery thread only comes in like these tiny little spools. For this project, because the skirt is bright blue, I decided that I was going to use teal for the leaf color because I thought that green would clash a little. I also picked out red, pink, and off-white for my flower colors. I didn't buy nearly enough crochet thread for this project. I should have bought 10 to 15 rolls of it, and instead I only bought four. I had to buy more crochet thread about three times, and halfway through making the skirt, the company selling that particular shade of teal changed their recipe slightly. As a result, some of my skirt is a shade different than the rest. It's fine. I did have a week-long panic about that before deciding that it was close enough, it's fine, and no one is going to notice. For the skirt itself, I used cotton foil primarily because it was cheap. I had to buy 12 meters of this fabric, and I did not have a lot of money at my disposal at the time, so I just went with the cheap option. I also thought that this lightweight fabric would be really great in summertime because it's thin and lightweight and breathable. I later came to regret that decision. I had absolutely no idea how long this project would take when I began it. I thought that it might take two months at the very most. I later did the math and discovered that the circumference of the hem was 32 feet. This will change. I chose to do the stems first because that was the easiest way to do it and that took me about two months to go all the way around. Once that was done, I began to do the leaves and flowers at the same time because I could not bear to go around a third time. Keeping myself motivated was absolutely the most difficult part of this entire project. Every time I thought about how long it was taking and how much more work I had to do, I felt less and less like I wanted to work on it at all. In the end, I managed an average of 1.5 inches of embroidery per day. Uh, the first three months were actually fairly easy in terms of motivation. I still didn't know how long it would take at that point. After about three months, though, things got a bit difficult. I felt like I would never be able to finish this project. I felt like I would be doing this forever. I felt like I was wasting my time a little. I felt like I would be doing this forever. Near the end of the project, I did speed up again. The fact that I was almost done really helped. Eight months and about 700 hours of work later, I finished it. It was absolutely my favorite skirt. I wore it nearly every day. And then the cotton voile began to wear out. Cotton voile is quite thin and delicate, and it is not meant to withhold the kind of everyday rigors that I was putting it through. It only took one and a half years for it to wear out and begin to tear. I definitely regret my decision to use cotton voile in the first place. I should have gone with a much sturdier cotton to begin with. I tried to fix the tears, of course, but that didn't really work. It wasn't very pretty. It wasn't a good fix. It 
it just kept unraveling because the fabric wasn't strong enough to hold up to it. So I decided to remake the skirt. It's my favorite skirt and I didn't want to lose it forever. What to do about the embroidery though? Because I had put about eight months of work into this project and I did not want to do that again. I thought, what if I can just cut and paste it? So my cunning plan was to simply cut out the embroidery and sew it onto the skirt. I made it out of much sturdier cotton this time. It is wonderful. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. I didn't know if cutting out the embroidery would ruin it or not, and I was really afraid. But in the end, I just had to bite the bullet and try it, because I had no other choice, really. I couldn't bear to throw it out, and I couldn't bear to redo it. The new skirt came out wider at the hem than the old one was, despite the fact that I used the exact same pattern. This is down to a multitude of factors, I suspect, from the fact that on the original skirt, I had forgotten to add seam allowance when I was cutting out my pattern pieces. This time, I did not make that mistake. I'm also much better at doing French seams than I was then. That was the first project I'd ever attempted a French seam on, the, that first version of the skirt. So I think that my French seams were a little wider than they are now. Possibly also the old skirt may have shrunk in the wash a little bit, which also would have accounted for some of that excess material that I now have. The hem of my skirt is 42 feet in circumference. This poses a problem because I only have 32 feet of embroidery. My only option really was to do more embroidery. It was super weird pulling out my pattern again. I had put this away for a year and a half. I really thought I was done, and this time I knew exactly how long it was going to take. It only took about two weeks to do the stems this time, which was a godsend. By the time I reached the halfway point on the leaves and flowers, I was going absolutely insane. I had been doing nothing but embroidery for about a month at this point, and I couldn't deal. So I took a break from that project and I did some other things. I came back to this project a month later and I was still really struggling with motivation, but I was determined to finish it anyway. It was at this point that my friends encouraged me to begin documenting the process and share the story online. So I did. I bought a phone tripod and I started filming. The project is now finished and it feels so weird to be done. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. I keep waiting for something else to go wrong. I keep waiting for more work that needs to be done. There has to be something I haven't finished on this skirt. In total, I spent roughly 900 hours working on this project. 800 of that was spent just doing the embroidery. And honestly, it was worth every minute. I actually really enjoyed working on this project despite the motivation issues and the pits of despair I found myself in about halfway through. I found it immensely rewarding. It felt like I had a purpose while I was working on this skirt. In conclusion, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. And if I can do this, what can you do? Don't be afraid to dedicate yourself to a big project like this. You can do it. I did.